it's a very rare acetate it's only one uh, a one-sided uh, 12 inch uh, aluminium disc it's co covered in a lacquer it's covered in a sort of thin spray and in that spray is where the uh, the grooves are cut direct by a lathe uh, usually as a like a tape recorder to somebody just be recording it would be cut at the same time that's the, the back of it uh, just uh, plain you can see there's holes where they held on to the lathe extra holes uh, where the, one of them was covered but it was the second hole there you can see that's how it's sort of pinned to the lathe while they're cutting the grooves they're actually cutting the record only one as I say it's the only one that exists in the whole world This is an acetate, it's a single uh, recording, the only one that exists. It was made on a lathe and recorded direct to the uh, disc. Not sure what date it is. It's a reading of a poem by Osbert Sitwell, the brother of uh, the more famous uh, Edith Sitwell, the poet, the member of that family of, uh, of uh, you know, art, uh, lovers, poets, etc. Let's have a listen. Cornucopia by Osbert Sitwell Now music fills the night with moving shades Its velvet darkness, veined like a grape Obscures and falls round many a subtle shape Figures that steal through cool tall colonnades Vast minotaurian corridors of sleep Rhythmic they pass us Splashed by red cascades of wine Fierce flashing fountains Whose proud waves shimmer a while plunge, foaming, over steep age-polished rocks into the dim, cold caves of starlit dusk below, then merge with night, softly, as children sinking into sleep. But now more figures sway into our sight, strong and bare-shouldered, pressed and laden down, stagger across the terraces. They bear great cornucopia of summer fruit and heavy roses, scented with the noon, piled up with fruit and blossoms, all full-blown, crimson or golden as the harvest moon, piled up and overflowing in a flood of riches. Brilliant plumaged birds that sing as a faint playing on a far sweet lute, warble their tales of conquest and of love, perch on each shoulder, sweep each rainbow wing like lightning through the breathless dark above. Heaped up in vases, gems shine hard and bright. Sudden they flare out, gleaming red like blood, for now the darkness turns to swelling light, great torches gild each shadow, tear the sky as drums tear through the silence of the night, breaking its crystal quiet, making us cry or catch our sobbing breath in sudden fear. A shadow stumbles, and the jewels shower onto the pavers with a sharp, sweet sound. They mingle with the fountain drops that flower up in a scarlet bloom above the ground, a beauteous changing blossom. Then they rain onto the broad mysterious terraces where sea gods rise to watch in cold disdain before those vast vermilion palaces, watch where the slumbering coral gods of noon, drunk with the sudden golden light and flare of flaming torches, try to pluck and tear that one enchanted lotus flower, the moon, down from its calm still waters. Thus they fall, like flowing plumes, the fountains of our festival. Slowly the torches die. They echo long, these last notes of a Bacchanalian song, of drifting drowsy beauty, born of sleep, vast as the sea, as changing and as deep. In thanksgiving for sheltering summer skies, still far away, a fervent red light glows. Small winds brush past against our lips and eyes, caress them, like a laughing summer rose, and rainbow moths flit by in circling flight. A harp sobs out its crystal syrupings, faintly it sounds, as the poor petal wings, fragile yet radiant, of a butterfly beating against the barriers of night. Then from the ocean came the siren song, heavy with perfume, yet faint as a sigh, kissing our minds, and changing right from wrong, chaining our limbs, making our bodies seem inert 
and spellbound, dead as in a dream.